welcome back to my channel. I am Catherine, and on this channel, I share easy DIYs, home decor projects, and every now and then, I love to share encouraging messages through creative form. And I am so grateful that you're here. Today's video is gonna be a super fun one, a super fun and summertime colorful one. I am so excited to show you all how to create the most epic and sweetest movie cinema experience indoors. It's summertime and it's nice outside. Everybody's outdoors these days. And it's something so cozy about watching a movie underneath the stars. But when it is 100 degrees and humid like it's been in Texas these days, <laughs> this weather just will not cut it. It's not, it's just not where it is. And I am so darn excited to share with you guys that I have partnered with Walmart to bring you guys an indoor cinema movie experience. And I know you're probably thinking an indoor movie night is the same as just a regular movie night. But it doesn't have to be. Not when you know how to create a DIY indoor movie experience, when you have a sweet and savory menu, have the cutest theme decorations. You can have a movie night indoors inside your home or even in a small space. It will feel just as special if you are outdoors. So if you have not done so, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. We are gonna jump into the cutest, most in-home DIY experience you have ever had. The first thing you wanna do to create that indoor experience as if you were outdoors is, is to forego your traditional seating in favor of the floor. You wanna push larger furniture pieces to the perimeter layer a bunch of cozy blankets and pillows directly on the floor. Now, if you've grown, like I have recently become, <laughs> direct contact to the floor may not be a good idea, but you can always take the cushions off your couch and put them on the floor and then put your blankets over them so that you can be nice and comfortable. Every indoor movie experience has to have a fort. So we are gonna build a makeshift one inside of this small space, which is our sunroom. You guys have seen it when I did my husband's office makeover. It's just gonna be the opposite side. So I am stringing a clothing line from our door hinges onto the ladder. Quickly realized that this was not stable nor safe. So rely on your discretion when building this fort and use good judgment. Instead, I strung the cord from one door all the way to another door inside of our home. Behind the scenes, to say the least, we literally had cords. We still have cords at this moment, just string up and down our living room and kitchen area. <laughs> and now I'm taking a sheet, throwing it over the clothesline rope and securing it with clothespins. The two wicker chairs would be used to help elevate the blanket to create our roof. So we're just gonna be putting down the floor blankets. I take all the blankets that was around our house and we put them on the floor. And I'm bringing these beautiful, large floor cushions. They are actually bigger than I thought they would be. Super comfortable. And they're bringing in that boho vibe that I love and a bold, bright color for the summertime. Y'all, I have been so excited to try something new by shopping for home decor on walmart.com. And they have such a wide selection of home decor and they cater to so many different styles. My favorite being the bohemian one. And everything that I mentioned or feature in this video will be linked down below in the description box and you guys can be eligible for their free two day shipping and returns of $35 or more. Since we're aiming for the highest level of coziness, we are bringing in yet another floor cushion <laughs> with this velvet oversized pillow. It is super, super plush and comfortable, and it comes in multiple colors. Number two is to modify the lights. You can fake a starry night with Christmas lights, string lights, those twinkle lights. One thing that every outdoor movie theater has that you can also bring in indoors is adding a projector. This was our first time having a projector. So my dad, I visited home recently and he had just made over his backyard. And it was such a cozy night watching the movie on a projector. That outdoor experience was taken to a whole nother level and it was so nostalgic. So I got the idea from him to get a projector and bring it indoors and have that same experience. And nothing feels more like a cinema experience than having a movie on your wall or a blanket. Do not worry if you do not have a projector. You can watch a movie on your laptop or on TV. So now that you got your four, you got your blankets down, you got the projector. All we're forgetting now are snacks. Entertaining outdoors always lead to refreshing and sugar-filled snacks. I love watching a good show or a movie and having something to eat. Because it is not the same. You just can't watch a movie without having something to eat. You have to have a concession stand. So our concession stand today is going to come in the form of a bar cart and we are going to add all our treats on it and I'm going to show you how to make homemade ice cream. Y'all, it is going to be the cutest. 
Our concession stand is going to take place on this wooden beverage bar cart. I always try to find products for y'all that are great for smaller spaces or that has some type of special quality to them. And this bar cart not only folds up so you can put it away, but it has wheels so that you can easily move it around from one side of your room to another. Another great trait about this bar cart is that it comes with two trays that you can attach or detach. And here I'm showing you just how easy it is to assemble the trays. There is a piece that connects to another piece. You just pop it on there and pop it off when you want to fold it and put it away. Now I'm applying the top tray. And the cool thing about this is that the top tray is made to be able to use on its own. So it has handles on the side that you can just pick it up from and use it somewhere else around your house. And this is perfect because we are gonna use this tray inside of our fork to have our food and snacks right next to us while we're watching the movie. So we about to make some ice cream. I'm going to be using the Cuisin R ice cream maker and I got it in the beautiful pink color. But the first step is that you actually have to put the mix the ingredients together and then freeze it before putting it inside up here so they can mix and form the actual ice cream. But before we begin mixing any ingredients, you want to first put your freezer bowl inside of the freezer for about 24 hours. And this part is important because once you create that mixture and put it inside of this bowl and turn your machine on, your mixture will begin to form and stay cold and that's how it forms ice cream. Just gonna mix it inside of the bowl, whisk it, and then pop it inside the freezer. Since we're making vanilla ice cream, I might as well go ahead and light this vanilla candle. It smells amazing. I actually asked my husband if he liked it, and immediately he said he loved it. While the ice cream mixture is in the freezer, we are gonna move to our bar cart and begin styling it and setting it up for the ice cream. I'm first gonna place these four beautiful polka dot bowls. I love how they look against the wood. These are gonna be used for our toppings. I immediately saw this straw dispenser and thought it was the cutest thing ever. It reminds me of a carnival because of how colorful it is, but it also has a great concept. When you pull the top up, the straws come out and when you press it down, they all enclose. To mix it up on y'all, I'm adding these Retro J Petal Bowls for our ice cream. They complement the polka dot bowls. And this is where you can get really creative. I wanted to have ice cream cones on this bar cart somewhere, so I just took an old clear jar that I had and put the ice cream cones inside of it. So one, they can be preserved, but also I thought it just looked cute inside of a jar. I wanna add even more color to this bar car, and I'm gonna do so through napkins, utensils, even beverages in this orange color. I wanted to find a tray to section off the bottom of the bar, but I couldn't, so I'm just taking a book from my bookshelf and adding it to the bottom, and I'm gonna place these rose tumbler glasses on top. I like these glasses a lot. It gives off this vintage vibe because of its embossed design. They're just so classy, they can go with any occasion. Finishing up this bar cart by adding sweets that can also be used as accessories like this pineapple that I do not plan on cutting but it's a decorative piece and a summertime staple. And then I'm adding all of our ice cream toppings inside of these bowls. I have a sweet tooth and these are some of my favorite snacks. If y'all haven't figured it out yet, I love to over accessorize and decorate. So I'm gonna be adding some balloons to make it even more festive. Now adding this art print that is perfect for summertime. It has a dog hanging off this retro van, which reminds me of my own dog and how funny he is. It just screams summer. It's 5.09 right now, and it is time to take the ice cream mix out of the freezer and begin to make it in the ice cream maker. And I'm really excited about this part. I actually expected when I poured this mixture into the machine that it would like splat out at me, but it didn't. Once you add it in there, you can visually begin to see your liquid mixture form into a creamy textured ice cream. This is fun, literally seeing how ice cream is made. Y'all, it is getting creamier and creamier. I'm excited to try it. Oh, this looks so good. It's very creamy. Y'all, I did this. The recipe is super simple. I'm gonna leave it down below in the description box if you wanna try it out. It was like four ingredients, super simple. And it tastes so good and it's very creamy. If I want it to be a thicker texture, I will put it inside of a airtight container and put it in the freezer for about two hours. For the sake of this video and this ice cream melting, 
I am gonna be putting it inside of a container, but I'm gonna get a little bit of it for myself right now. I want the bar cart to have a kitchen towel, and I have some leftover basic white towels, y'all have seen many of times, but I want to spuce them up by tie-dyeing them. I ordered this kit on Walmart as well, and it came with everything you needed. 12 protective gloves, 60 rubber bands, 20 bottles of tie-dye, way more than you need. Haven't done tie-dye in a long time, y'all, so I was really excited about this. Created three different designs using two different techniques, and they all came out different. In my mind, I envision jungle old bohemian colors, teal, yellow, pink, purple, and orange. And so I tried all of these colors, the three different techniques, and you're gonna see exactly how they come out. So we are just gonna fast forward through this part. When you get the kit, the instructions are self-explanatory, but I'm gonna quickly go through this. I'm scrunching it up for the first design and adding a ton of rubber bands to it. And this is our tester piece because I wanted to see how well the colors held. I'm trying all of the colors on this napkin using the scrunch method. Oftentimes when tie-dyeing, you will have dye that's dripping. I'm using a cooling rack to flip over my napkin so when I tie-dye the opposite side, I'm allowing that other dye to drip through onto the plastic bag that's underneath it. The second technique is twisting it from the middle, forming this spiral. And this time I'm only using the colors pink and yellow. And for this last design, I'm using the first technique, which is scrunching, and I'm only using the color yellow. The only difference with this one is that I added a lot more rubber bands because I wanted to see with the more rubber bands, will I get a different design than the first one? But I did mess up here because I put the yellow all over the napkin instead of leaving room for the white to peek through. 24 on a Friday, and I did not rinse or wash them to Sunday evening. This is the first one, the tester. I poured all the colors on this napkin because I wanted to see how well the color held, and they held really well. Well, I knew that once I rinsed and washed it that the color would fade which it did the second one was with the scrunch method as well pouring all of the yellow tie-dye over it you see a little bit of the white peeking through it wasn't the idea that I envisioned but it still came out beautiful this third one however is my favorite this one was the twist method and of course when you put yellow and pink together it forms a orange beautiful color I only caught this after editing this video but once I washed and rinsed this one, the color actually was not as vibrant and I'm not sure exactly why. If anybody knows, let me know down below in the comments. But what I think may have been the issue is that I didn't rinse it out before washing it. Maybe that some has something to do with it. But I still decided to go with this one because I love the mixture of colors. I hope you give this a try because this was fun and a great summer craft. And we are gonna end this with a staple that you have to have if you're gonna watch a movie indoors or outdoors and it is popcorn. It's a staple, you just have to have it. In our home, we make homemade popcorn. It's so easy to make. All you need is some oil, popcorn kernels, and seasoning. We actually stopped buying store-bought popcorn last year, and I created a video about things to do during the fall, and one of them was making homemade popcorn, and we have not turned back. And I think it's because we literally can have control over everything that we put into this popcorn, from the oil to the kernel to the seasoning, and it just tastes so good. And seeing and hearing the popcorn pop is always a delight. We are so far into this movie cinema night. We have to have the right popcorn bowl. I am not a fan of the typical bulky popcorn bowls, so I opted out for a pasta dish. It's a large classic porcelain dish, and when we're not using it for popcorn, we can always use it for pasta. <laughs> this came out and this summer indoor movie experience was only made possible because of Walmart so definitely check out their summer collection at walmart.com and everything that I featured or mentioned in this video will be linked down below in the description box the 
that is all for this video. Let me know down below in the comments, are you gonna try any ideas from this video? Are you gonna try the homemade ice cream or popcorn, build a fort, get a projector and watch a movie on there, create a concession stand? Y'all have to let me know. I think my favorite would have to be the movie night with a projector and homemade ice cream. My husband and I, we love Friday movie nights. It's something we naturally do. So to take it up, we built a fort, we have a homemade popcorn, now we got the projector. Like this is gonna take our summer nights to a whole nother level. Thank you again, Walmart, for sponsoring this video, and thank you guys for always supporting. And as always, y'all, I will talk to y'all later.